You know, I think it really is about um, technology and progress narratives that somehow, you know, we're now better off than we were um, 10 years ago and we're better off, we were better off 10 years ago than we were better, you know, compared to 20 years ago. So that progress narrative, which is oftentimes related to technology and science and development and all of that, um, I think the underreported story in all of this is the costs of all of this. Um, the fact that um, communities have been very important and con communities continue to be important in terms of helping us negotiate this very complex uh, social terrain. At the same time, the broader conditions in terms of which people, as people, we live collectively, the broader conditions under which we live as communities, those are being systematically um, undone, right, because of technology, because of the ways in which capitalism structures our life. So I think the underreported story is about forms of social isolation and forms of social alienation that have come about, um, especially in certain parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So to me that is the underreported story and the effect that it is producing in our lives. So not surprisingly, if you think about it in terms of middle class, uh, you know, urban or suburban United States, any number of people are running around sort of doing, we're all looking for yoga, we're looking for meditation, mm -hmm. we're looking for release of certain kind. Um, but I think it's begging the question of what are the conditions that are actually producing that desire? What are the conditions that are producing that need? And it's an unfulfilled need. Mm -hmm.